Hello everyone, my name is Elliot and welcome back to another Spiral Stage Lightning video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you on how to create workspaces on Everlight's Titan. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, it'd be very much appreciated and also please press the notification bell so you can get notified about my videos and it'd be very much appreciated. And I also quickly want to say as well, I want to shout out my friend Danny and also the rest of the people who performed in A Shoe Full of Stars. They've been literally nominated for an award on Yam Awards for Best Opera. So if it's okay, please, please, please go vote for them. They're almost there and it'd be so much appreciated. The link will be in the description and yeah actually let's have a little look so this is what is being playing in um that's him there that's him there oh wait no no he's not the sign that's him right there he's actually really good it's just it's amazing how long is it look if i was him i would be standing there laughing my face off honest to god <laughs> Honestly, that is really good acting. The reason why is because if I was him, I would be standing there laughing my face off for some reason. Voting page will be in the description and let's begin. So right now I've got my Titan 1 loaded up. You can use any console from Air Lights, Arena, Titan Mobile, anything you want. Um, so yeah, let's begin. I'm going to be showing you on how you can edit these. So let's say, oh, I don't want this Gobos and Beam palette. You can have just the groups if you want. Um, but yeah, so let's say I just want the group. So what you need to do is you need to press this. Um, so I'll show you real quick. Um, so this changes the size so you can have any size you want or you can press the setting symbol and it'll already have um, sizes made on it so full screen, bottom screen, um, on the far right or anything else like that. Um, I'm going to click the full screen and I'm going to click one of these um, and what I can do is just click it. I can name it, name it so I can put groups and there we are. It's already on. So that's the main part and if I press groups groups already comes on um, you can name it anything you want and you can also put halos around it um, like this one here so you can have a halo if you want you can have red or you can have a picture instead um, by the way to do this you gotta press set legend and then click it and then you can have a picture instead you can have a spiral if you really want if that's really gonna make it look like groups um, but yeah um also you can add different parts on here so instead of having any of this you can actually put time code on or the wing um layout on so what you need to do is press open workspace window and you've got loads of different um you've got loads of different things you can use you can have put media media on there intensity view hood mobile wing you can use any of these um and yeah so you've got more options you can actually make with a workspace so let's say um i just want capture visualizer so what you can do is put the capture visualizer on there you can change the size of the capture visualizer full screen if you want and then you can name it as a workspace call it viz and there we are viz is on there now so when i click viz capture visualizer will come up but basically you've got loads of different options you can create a workspace out of so you've got audio triggers you've got loads so to do that you've got to press open workspace window and then you've got all these options you can use um and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video if it helped please leave a like and subscribe it'd be very much appreciated and i'll see you in the next video yeah.